Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating map animations like inside geopolitics in the winter resolve in the fusion page. So to get started, we will go to QGIS and create our base map over there. And then we will also add in the countries as well. If you want to know how to create this, or let me just give you a quick tutorial on how to add this base map. So we go to plugins, manage and install plugins and download this plugin called Etsia MGIS. Go to base maps and add in any base map that you want. I've used Esri image over here. Once you do that, then go to download open data and download administrative areas. Click on that and select your country. I use China and US. Set the level of detail to whatever value it provides. So it says four for China. For US, it might be different. Click on apply and it will download the file in a zip format and also extract it automatically and also import that data automatically inside of QGIS. Once you have it, then you can simply pick and choose which file or which layer of data that you want. So let me just give you, I'm already downloaded over here. So let's just open that up. So here we have four levels of data over here. The first one is going to be the boundary. So drag that in and this is exactly what that layer does. Right, so if you go back and if I just add in the second one. Right, so we have some more level of detail. So we can delete this. We don't want that. So we have the US and the China and we need to export this. So let's, so for the export, you have to create a new print layout, control P and you can call it whatever you want. Click on okay and here right click, click on page properties, set this to 16 by nine aspect ratio. For the background, we want that to be zero. And now let's add in a map. Just click and hold from one corner to the other. And this will render out your map like so. And then make sure that the CRS system is set to this one over here, EPSG 5263, so that you get this equirectangular map projection. Then you can export this map. Let's also go to bottom over here and uncheck background. And to export it, go to export as image option. Let's ignore this warning and save it where you want to save it. So let me just override this file, click on save. And here you want to change the export resolution. If you want a higher resolution, maybe you want to set this to 1200 DPI. This will be like an 8K image or something like that. So yeah, you can obviously use that over here. So go ahead and click on save and it'll be saved wherever you choose the location to be. And you have to repeat this process for the countries over here as well. Once you do that, then you can go back to the image resolve and import that data inside of Fusion in the flow. Let's take a look at it. This is our map over here. And as you can see, it's actually 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160. But we have these transparent areas over here. We can right click option, make sure check underlay ticked over here. Now we're going to crop it out. So let's add in a crop tool and take a look at it. I want this option keep centered. I want to use the same value for this 3840 by 2160. Now let's crop it from the Y over here. And I want to crop it till that transparent area gets disappeared. After this, you can add in the countries as well. Take a look at it and then connect that up like so. So these are our two countries. Of course, you can do this all manually. You can download the base map from the internet itself and you can download the country PNG files as well from the internet and manually place it, which will take some time. But with QGIS, it just becomes much easier. Once you have that, then you can change the color of the countries as well. All right, so let's just disconnect this media in connection, drag in a background, connect that and connect it to this merge one. Make sure that the background is set to uncheck out resolution. It should be 4K as well. So 3840 by 2160. And then you can go ahead in the color and change it to any color that you want. If you want to have uh, separate colors, you create another copy of it. Merge it up like so. If you want to have just different colors, add in a mask to this. And just mask out this area over here. 
and you copy and paste this mask below connect that again and this time we will hit inward and on the second one we can change the color to maybe like red take a look at the merge tool we have two different colors over here now go to the merge over here and change the blend mode or the apply mode and play around with different apply modes over here it will give some interesting results let's use exclusion that looks kind of cool so let's use exclusion on this as well yeah, well that didn't work on this image so maybe i'll just use this one saturation that looks kind of cool after the media in or after the crop itself what you can do is add in a color corrector so inside geopolitics they have this black and white color scheme going on so you can reduce the saturation and maybe increase the contrast a little to get that result once you're happy with that then you can move to the next step which is taking these 2d images and wrapping them into this 3d globe so add in a shape 3d and set the shape to sphere let's see the radius set this to 0.5 this is how it is going to look make sure the lighting and the shadows are enabled over here once you do that then the next step is to add in a um, camera to the scene camera 3d this will add in a merge 3d as well let's move the camera over here add in a renderer 3d as well let's take a look at it this is how it's going to look go to the camera over here transform and we have to just simply push it back like so so that we can see the globe over here and if you want to add labels you can add in a text over here connect that to this merge tool and you can type in anything that you want let's type in as to china and let's take a look at this merge tree let's increase the tracking and place it over here and set the size to 0 0.3 and you can of course change the font weight style and all that stuff over here go to render 3d you can see that it's placed over here now let's also add in some starry background so i have this image over here 8k stars but since this is an 8k resolution file if you directly import it from the media pool um, fusion will start acting weird so the better way to do is using a loader node and search that file over here double click on it and just use that file with the loader node it's just more faster this way we will take this into a shape 3d as well add in a sphere add it to this merge 3d and let's take a look at this we have this merge 3d over here let's actually look at the render 3d and let's go to the second shape 3d and increase the radius so we will keep on increasing it till we go inside that shape and we see our globe over here so now with our camera over here we will add in a transform 3d to this and use this use target option let's go to the very first frame or you can go to any third doesn't really matter we will use an expression over here on the rotation y to rotate around the globe continuously so right click expression and type in time times 0 0.1 and it will keep on spinning or rotating around and you can see that our background also rotates with that you can definitely play with the radius like so and increase the size maybe all that stuff over here get more or less of that parallax uh, great so once you have that then you can add in another transform to this and this will kind of control our animation this second transform because we'll be doing all sort of animations on this node so let's go to frame 30 and create a keyframe on rotation group let's create a keyframe on translation group as well and the scale as well let's go to frame 90 and now you just have to kind of find the area that you want to highlight so actually let's use us first okay let's rotate around find that over here and focus on that country like so so um, on the very first frame or let's go to frame 30 over here i want to have a completely different 
location maybe this one let's focus on this continent of africa here so it will kind of uh, find this us over here but i don't want it to find it from this side i want to find it from the left side of of the african continent right so something like this that looks cool and then you can also zoom into this so let's go to frame 90 over here since we already have keyframe activated on scale if you scale it up we are going to zoom out but if you scale less or go to in the opposite direction we are actually going to scale into it and that's because of how we have set up this transform 3d with the target and all that stuff we'll have an animation like this that looks good but let's just improve the performance let's set the renderer type to hardware renderer also disable high quality and motion blur and now our preview will be much faster now let's go to frame 200 select the second transform and we will right click rotation set key on rotate group and also on scale set key on scale group let's go to frame 260 and this time we will find china which is right over here and we will go across all these continents over here to find that country and also rotate it like so can rotate the z axis as well you can also zoom into this if you want to and let's go to shape 3 over here and let's link these two together base and height subdivisions and just increase that to 100 so that we have these smooth edges of the shape so now let's go to the transform 3d again go to spline and select all over here zoom to fit then click on this icon select all hit f and then with the t key ease it into 100 play this this is how it is going to look now of course you can animate this further you can add all sorts of fix to this let's add in a uh, light to this scene actually this is completely optional step you can you're pretty much done we have the animation that we want but to add more depth to our scene what we can do is enable lighting and shadows let's uh, also turn on float 32 and you can also enable depth of field if you want go to entire leasing and go to accumulation effects you can enable depth of field over here but let, for now let's just disable that and now our whole scene will turn black because there is no light in our scene or let's add in a spotlight connect that to the most 3d and let's go to the most 3d and see what we have done over here our light is right in the middle so let's just drag it back like so all right so now in the render 3d we can see our globe but then it's static the light is static it's not moving along with the camera so what we can do is uh, we can copy this transform 3d and paste it after the spotlight and that way our light will also move with the camera over here now all you have to do is go to spotlight and let's increase the intensity a bit all right and let's go to transform and change the position and we kind of want this specular light in the middle so just keep on playing around with these values till we get it right something like this now of course if you want to you can disable color corrector to get that uh, full look of the blue planet but then i'm gonna go for that stylized look like inside geopolitics if you don't want this specular light affecting the shape over here too much so you can go to the shape 3d go to material specular and you can reduce the exponent like that and maybe change the intensity as well you can even change the color over here so i'm going to just reduce that uh, like so and kind of increase the exponent quite a bit play around with these small uh, settings to get the desired result but as you can see we did lose the starry background so let's just go to shape 3d over here which is connected to our the background image go to material actually let's go to controls over here go to lighting and check affected by lights and that way you will get the 
stars back in your scene over here. Who doesn't like stars? I think that's just pretty much it. That's how easy it is to create this animation. Uh, and if you want to, you can turn on depth of field and go to your camera 3D and change the focal plane to sort of focus on country that you want to highlight. For example, this one. That's actually pretty much it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. If you want to create more cool map animations, I do have a course. I'll just put the link in the description or you can watch the preview right now. If you want to improve your map animation skills, do check that out. Subscribe, like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.